Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to talk about something where if you've been around the Oblivion community for a little bit, you're going to know about this. Magic sucks in this game, but why exactly does it suck? This is my opinion on this. Um, I really... I don't play a lot of video games with magic systems in them. You know? Like, my favorite games right now, I guess if you could say my top four favorite games at this very moment is Rainbow Six Siege, Civilization VI, and Kerbal Space Program, and Oblivion. So as you can tell, if those four games, only one of them has a magic system in it, and it's Oblivion. So why does this system suck? Well, there's two main reasons. One is the lack of unique spells, and two is the samenessness that these spells have. So we'll start with the samenessness that these spells have. When, let's just take destruction for example. When I'm a destruction main, what spells do I have access to? I have frost, fire, and shock. Is there any difference between them? No, they all do the same damage. I mean, I think I have poison too, but even poison, same damage, right? So with that, like, the only reason to have something other than a fire spell, because let's be honest, if you have flare, you can get weakness to fire, and then a better flare, then a better weakness to fire. The only reason to have something other than fire is because there's flame atronox and stuff with resistance to fire. And then so you get, like, a shock, right? And so it gets really boring as a combat mage because you're using the same spells. Yes, you have stuff like silence, but what's unique about silence? You just make it so they can't cast spells. All the mages are gonna do is come up to you and beat you up with a mace. So uh, another thing is restoration. You can fortify your strength or you can go to alteration and feather yourself. One does one thing and one does another thing, but they're kind of the same. Why would I use feather? Yeah, you know, granted feather, you can carry a lot more weight than if you fortify your strength. But fortifying strength also ups your damage. And really, who needs to feather like 300 points or something like that, right? So it just doesn't make sense to me, this this magic system where everything feels the same. Same types of damage, right? Like, honestly, restoration, in my opinion, is the most unique combat class of magic because you have absorb health, magic, and fatigue. Like. It, can, it does something to the other enemy and benefits you at the same time. That's the most unique class, right? The only reason that I would, I guess, use destruction is because it's easier to cast area of effect spells, right? So there's that aspect. That's where Skyrim beats Oblivion out, hands down, is the magic. Because in Skyrim, not only do you have the perk tree where you can really specialize in different types of magic like shock, frost, or fire, but they do different things. Fire does extra damage, frost does fatigue damage, and shock does magic damage and you can they also have unique effects at the very end of the tree so oblivion's magic feels the same you know most of the spells they feel the same yes there's some unique spells telekinesis right that's a pretty unique spell but why not have a spell that isn't fortify acrobatics that makes you jump really high what about a spell that makes you stick to walls a spell that makes you fly you know like this is where the uniqueness comes in. There's not a lot of cool magical spells. I would love a magic spell that allows me to fly in Oblivion that I don't have to mod in, right? I know that there's probably at least a million mods for flying in, in that game, right? What about, like, something that you pair up a potion with a spell and this happens, right? Anything, right? Maybe there's a big explosional force field that comes out of you, but no, you have to get the area of effect type magic first, right? How about a force field? Not just a shield, but like a force field. Or how about a wall you can cast where absolutely nothing can walk through it or go through it both ways, right? Something like that. I mean, it doesn't have to be a big thing too. It could be like a, t like a five foot by five foot wall, right? Or like in Oblivion, you could set traps with magic too. That was another thing. So, or with Skyrim, not Oblivion. <laughs> so, that's really why I think Oblivion's magic system sucks. Is there's just a lack of uniqueness to it. Everything feels the same. And yeah, it's cool that there's five million ways to do the same thing, but it's still doing the same thing. 
So let me know what you guys think in the comments below about Oblivion's magic system. I would love to know. Um, I know some of you guys really like my Oblivion play Let's Play of the Pure Mage. When I'm done with that, I'm going to Skyrim. I, I feel like at this point I should actually go to Skyrim just because, I don't know, I feel like I should do more than just Oblivion. I don't know, it's weird. Skyrim actually, fun fact, is the first game I ever live streamed. So, that's it guys. I'm Pacific Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode stream or vlog of whatever I decide to make.